Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Lightroom Classic to create package prints for your clients. This tip is particularly useful if the group that you're photographing requires that every single individual receive the exact same package. And so think for example like a little league that has maybe a leak by, or if you're doing class photos for a school and you want to make sure that every kid gets one base set package. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how this works. The first thing we're going to do is import our images and to protect the innocent we have decided we're going to be using some cat photos today because who doesn't love a good cat photo? So we'll import those there. Alrighty, so here we've got all of our class photos from the cat class. When you're doing an action like this you want to make sure that either you crop the images properly in camera when you shot them or that prior to creating these packages you crop the images. For this example, I've already cropped all these images to 8x10, and I've got an example of a good crop and a bad crop I'm going to show you now. Let's take a look at how the different crops are going to look on this image. Here we have, it's already set to a 4x5 or 8x10 crop, but let's say that our package is going to include 5x7s. As you can see, it comes in a little bit from the edges, and so we want to make sure that we leave a little space there. And then if we change this to a 2x3 or 4x6 ratio, it comes in even more from the sides. So we want to make sure that we've got a safe space around it if we're doing 8x10. If your image is already cropped to a 2x3 and you wanted to crop an 8x10, then in that case it would come in from the top. So just make sure that you're aware of that and that you leave plenty of room for the images to crop as this is a fully automated system. You're not going to have the ability to go through and crop individually once you export your photo packages. Let me show you real quick an example of what not to do. Here is a lovely photo. It looks like it'll print perfectly for an 8x10. However, if we go to crop it as a 5x7, we're going to lose a little bit of our ear, and even more so if we crop it down to a 4x6. So when you're shooting and or when you are prepping these images for print, make sure that you leave space on all edges so that there's room to crop. All right, so let's jump in on how to create our packages. To start with, we're going to click up here where it says print. The first thing we're going to do is go to page setup and make sure that the orientation is set to landscape. After that, we're going to scroll down on the right hand column and where it says print job, we want to make sure that it's set to JPEG file as opposed to printer. After that, we're going to scroll down, we're going to click here where it says custom file dimensions and we're just going to change this to being 10 inches wide by 8 inches high and that looks good. We also want to make sure that the layout style is set to picture package. All right, let's start creating our package. Here in this column, you see where it says cells. Each one of these will create a different size node and it will automatically drop it into the package. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click and delete these ones and I'm gonna create our single eight by 10 page. So that's one eight by 10. Now we're gonna click where it says new page and it will add an additional, click five by seven twice click new page again and now we're going to add eight wallets Just like that that was super easy now we've got one package that's going to be one eight by ten two five by sevens and eight wallets and since this is something I know I'm going to use again in the future I'm going to click on user templates and plus so that I can add this and we're going to call this class package one there we go all right, so there's one more topic I want to go over that's a little bit more of an advanced concept, but just something to keep in mind. When you're creating your packages, you'll notice in this package, for instance, we've got the one 8x10, and then we have two 5x7s and eight wallets. And on these two designs, there's an inch at the bottom of the page that really isn't getting used. And so you might think, oh, I can save a little money or I can save a little material if I just make this its own package. I'll do the two 5x7s and the eight wallets as a 7x10 package as opposed to an 8x10 package. The only problem with this is that when you send it to print separately, like if you send a batch of 7x10 prints to print and then another batch of 8x10 prints, they're not going to collate together. And so your images, you're going to have to manually sort them. I kind of think that's a pain. So the best practice is going to be to just go ahead and choose whatever your largest size is and go off of that. If, for instance, though, you did not have an 8x10, then you could change this setting and instead of having it be a custom 8 by 10 you could have it be a 10 by 7 and then send that to print here at QPrints as well. Now I'm going to show you how to make a package that has custom sizes 
that maybe are more tailored to what your client needs or you know a specific job requirement. So over here we've got some relatively common sizes except for this one. I don't think I've ever made a three by seven. I don't know anyone who's made a three by seven. So let's go ahead and edit this to something a little more useful. We can change the size, and I think for this one, this custom size, a three and a half by five, is way more common. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in, and there we go. So something that frequently uh, is ordered is maybe two three by fives and four wallets. And as you can see, it just lays it all out perfectly onto a single eight by 10 sheet. So let's go ahead and we'll save that one. Let's make another page. Another common option would be maybe a five by seven and four wallets. There we go. And then one last page, let's just do a few four by sixes. Now, as we look at this, you might say, wait a second, I could fit three four by sixes onto one eight by 10. Why is it laid out this way? If you don't like the way that Lightroom lays it out, you can simply delete or rotate the cells. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate both of these. You can slide them around into their respective corners. And I think now we should have room for one more four by six. And there we go, all set. One last thing that I wanted to point out is that let's say that on this custom package, every individual is supposed to receive not just one eight by 10, but two eight by 10s. You'd wanna build that into the package here in Lightroom because otherwise it would be a real pain to manually order the additional eight by 10 prints. So let's go ahead and click new page, add one more eight by 10, and there we go, now we're set. All right, the final step is gonna to be to export all of these files so that they are ready to print. So we're gonna select all, and right down here on the bottom right, we'll click print to file. And I've already got a folder on my desktop called class eight by 10, so we'll select that folder, and now we can see the images are exporting. All right, our export is completed. Let's go take a look at our folder. So here we can see we've got our package for each individual. And it's got two 8x10s, two 5x7s, and eight wallets. So this all looks super good. Let me go ahead and close that. All right, and call me a little biased, but to order these prints, I'm gonna highly recommend that you go to qprints.com. I think that not only is our product quality phenomenal, but you cannot beat these prices for bulk prints. So we're gonna go ahead and just click up here where it says order now. And we're gonna use the simple order system. We'll click order now here. And for the luster prints, we're gonna to wanna to do the batch order right here. We click eight by 10 luster. And the last step is gonna to be to select all of our files. I already have it pre-selected here. Click open. And it is currently processing all those files. And there we go, it's all set. From here, all that's left to do is click checkout and you're all set. There's no need to check the cropping, just enter your payment and shipping details and you are finished. That's all that we have for this video. If you have any questions about this process, make sure you put them in the notes below. We'd be happy to try and help you out and answer them. And thanks again for watching.